In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to square a binomial. A binomial, you know, is two terms. So if we square a binomial, it looks like this. x plus 5 squared. It might seem at first glance like we could just square everything inside the parentheses, but because of the plus sign, that will not work. We know that the second power means we have to do x plus 5 times x plus 5, so this would require the FOIL method. But if we do a few of these, you'll notice that there's a shortcut that we can take. Now, it might be a little work at first to figure out how to use the shortcut, but it's definitely there, and it's definitely worth knowing, because later on in your later algebra courses, you're going to need a way to quickly do things like this without having to slow down and do the FOIL method. So let's look at x plus 5 times x plus 5. We know that first times first is x squared. We know that outer times outer is 5x. Inner times inner is also 5x. And last times last will be 25. Now we know that we need to combine our two middle terms. 5x plus 5x will give us 10x for our middle term. So here it is. x plus 5 squared is x squared plus 10x plus 25. And I want you to notice that we can get the first term by doing x times itself. We can get the last term by doing 5 times itself. But the middle term we get by doing 5 times x times 2. So 5x times 2 is 10. Now why is it times 2? Well, because when we did the FOIL method, the outer times outer and the inner times inner gave us two identical terms. So if we just take one of those, 5 times x, and double it, to get 10x, we have our middle term. Now let's try that again on 3x plus 4 squared. We know that 3x plus 4 squared must be 3x plus 4 times 3x plus 4. So if we use the FOIL method, 3x times 3x is 9x squared. Outer times outer is 12x. Inner times inner is also 12x. And last times last is 16. Now we know that we have to combine the two middle terms. 12x plus 12x is 24x. Okay, now I want you to notice that if we could just simply look at uh, the, the squared binomial, we could do 3x times itself to get 9x squared. We could do 3x times 4 to get 12x, and then double that to get 24x. See, 12x times 2 is 24x, and then 4 times 4 is 16. Now that we see the shortcut, I want us to practice it. You'll have to practice this one quite a bit to make it stick. It may come and go for a while, but it is very well worth it to nail this one down. It's going to help you a lot later on. First times first will be x squared. The middle term will be x times 7, which is 7x, times 2. 7x times 2 is 14x. Last times last will be 7 times 7, which is 49. On the next problem, 5x plus 6 squared, we'll say 5x times 5x is 25x squared. The middle term will be 5x times 6, which is 30x, times 2. 30x times 2 is 60x. And then last times last will be 36. Now we're going to look at a binomial square that is a subtraction, has a minus sign in the middle. So the only difference between the last one we did and these will be that now the middle term will come out negative and I'll show you in this example we'll go back and do it the old way by the FOIL method so we're working on 8x minus 3 squared 
That's going to make 8x minus 3 times 8x minus 3. Now, first times first will make 64x squared. Outer times outer will make minus 24x. Inner times inner will also make minus 24x. But last times last will make positive 9. So we see that we get that doubling of the middle term again. So we'll end up with 64x squared minus 48x plus 9. And the plus 9 is there because negative times negative is positive. Now let's use our shortcut on this example. 6x minus 1 squared. First times first will give us 36x to the second. The middle term will be 6 times negative 1 times 2, so negative 6 times 2 will be negative 12x, and last times last will make positive 1. Now we'll try a few more together. Nine x minus four squared will give us first times first eighty one x squared. The middle term will be nine x times negative four, which is negative thirty six x times two makes negative seventy two x, and last times last makes plus sixteen. On three x plus ten squared, we'll get three x times three x, which is nine x squared. The middle term will be 3x times 10, 30x times 2, which is 60x, and last times last gives us plus 100. For 4x plus 7 squared, 4x times 4x will give us 16x squared. The middle term, 4x times 7, will give us 28x times 2, makes 56x, and last times last makes plus 49.